Today's discussion is all about geometric means. What is geometric means? It is or are the terms between two given terms of a geometric sequence. So say for example, I have 1, 5, 25, and 125. The 5 and 25 here are what we call geometric means because it is between 1 and 125. Okay, so another example, I have 1 third, 3, and 27. The number 3 here is what we call geometric mean because it is between the 1 third and the 27. Okay, so now, how do we find the indicated number of geometric means between the given pair of numbers. So, example, we have 2 and 686. We are to insert two means. So, if we have 2 and 686, inserting two means, that means we do have four terms. So, from the information, the first term is 2. The last term here is 686 while our n is 4 because we are going to insert 2 between 2, 6, 8, 6. So there are 4. Now, so using the geometric sequence formula, we are going to substitute the a sub n, the a sub 1, and the n. So this will turn out as 686 is equals to 2 times the r to the power of the 4 minus 1, so where n is 4. Then, we divide everything by 2 for us to cancel the 2 here. So 686 divided by 2 is 343, while the 2 over 2 is cancelled, that is 1, so what it means is r to the power of 4 minus 1. And what is 4 minus 1? That is equals to 3. So our R cube is equals to 343. So for us to solve the value of R is we need to cancel the exponent 3. So to cancel out the exponent 3, we are going to what? Get the cube root of this given equation. So the cube root. Now, so with this cube root, we can now cancel the exponent 3 for the r. And what remains is r. And what is the cube root of 343? So the cube root of 343 is actually 7. So our r is equals to 7. So for the first mean, so using the first term as 2 with r7, so 2 times the r7, so we can now get the first mean. So 2 times 7 is equals to 14. While the second mean is using the 14, so this is our, actually our second term, 14 times 7 is equals to 98. So therefore, the sequence form will be 2, 14, 98, and 686, wherein the 14 and 98 are the two means between 2 and 686. Okay, so I have here another example. 1 9 and 1 fourth, we are going to insert one mean. So if we do have one mean, definitely we do have three terms. 
the sequence comprises of three terms. So from this info, our first term is 1 9, the last term is 1 4, and our n is 3 because we only have one mean, so we do have two numbers, so there are three terms. So using the geometric sequence formula, substituting the value for a sub n, a sub 1, and the n, our a sub n is 1 4, a sub 1 is 1 9, while the n here is 3. So next, for us to cancel the 1 9, we are going to multiply everything by its reciprocal. So what is the reciprocal of 1 over 9? That is 9 over 1. So in here, we can now cancel the 1 over 9 because 9 over 1 times 1 9 is 9 over 9 or simply equals to 1. So this will be cancelled. So 9 times 1 fourth. So 9 times 1 fourth, that is 9 over 4. So our r3 to the power 3 to the minus 1 is equals to 9 fourth. So next is, what is 3 minus 1? 3 minus 1 is equals to 2. So this will become r squared. So to cancel out the exponent 2, we are going to get the square root of our equation here. So to get the square root, thus the exponent 2 will be cancelled out. So what is the square root of 9? The square root of 9 is 3, while the square root of 4 is 2. So this is 3 over 2. So the r is equals to 3 over 2. So what is the mean? What is the geometric mean? So we'll use the 1 over 9, multiply it by the r, which is the 3 halves. So 1 over 9 times 3 halves is equal to, so 1 times 3 is 3, 9 times 2 is 18. So that is 3 over 18 or, or simply 1 over 6. So thus, 1 over 6 is actually the mean between the 1, 9, and the 1 fourth. Okay, so next. How do we find the first and last terms if we are given two geometric means? Or if we are given means? So, Example, if 4 and 9 are geometric means between M and N, we are going to find the values of M and N. So in this case, for us to get the value of M and N, we need to find first the value of R. So how do we find R. So how do we solve R here? That is, so since we do have 4 and 9, basing on 4 and 9, so that would be 9 divided by the preceding terms. So that would be 9 divided by 4. So if we divide 9 over 4, thus our R is equals to 9 over Four. Okay, so we do have now the value for the r. So knowing that n is actually after nine, so if that is after the nine, then we are going to make use of our ratio or multiply the nine by nine over four. So what is 9 times 9 over 4, that is 9 times 9, is 81 over 4. This is our value for n. And since here our m, okay, so our m is actually before 
4. So instead of dividing that one by 9 over 4 is we will just multiply it by its reciprocal. So the reciprocal of 9 over 4 is 4 over 9. So multiplying 4 by the 4 over 9 and that is 16 over 9. So with this info here with m 16 over 9 then we can say that the form geometric sequence will be 16 over 9 4 9 then 81 over 4 so thus the value of m and n are 16 over 9 for m and 81 over 4 for n so thank you so much for watching and listening.